Well, it's our last day here on our extended weekend in Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee area. It's raining and gross and you can't really be outside for too long. So, we decided to kill a couple hours at the Smoky Mountain Knife Works. The world's largest knife show place. But it is so much more than that. Thank you. You are entering door number one. There's my parents, say hi. It's an actual elephant. There's a museum upstairs. There's just knives as far as the eye can see and then actual guns over there. And an abbey. And an abbey. I don't think you're for sale. No. So all throughout the store, there are these little vignettes that they've set up. You can see up here they have a lot of various artifacts and up there above this is even more museum space that you can go check out. And they have a waterfall system that starts up there. Well, it looks like it used to start up there and cascade all the way down here past these animals down to this water wheel here. Look at the ridiculous amount of stuff that they have here. Hey, old timer. You see a lot of action. Get another wheel with, uh, oh my god, what happened to this poor guy's neck? Up toys, build your own knockoff lightsaber over here, we got more relics, there's that broken neck kid again. <laughs> it's the prison exhibit. Here, why don't you read off some of the convict vocabulary list for us. Inmate, straight, goes by the rules. Convict does what he must to survive, never tells on another convict. Selling tickets, wolf tickets, building riff, being bad. When are when when is this lingo from? Like the twenties or something? Possibly. Uh, possibly. Uh, getting of losing greens, earning or losing honor. Yeah, I don't think there's a, this poor gentleman in the electric chair. And a large collection of shanks and shivs, another all-made dabbing implements here. <laughs> this, is, this is not exactly, I think, what we would call a culturally sensitive exhibit for the plight of the uh, incarcerated American. <laughs> there is no equality in the old West. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. you get pink. Yes, you get pink. You always get pink. Some of, uh, some of your relatives, Abby? You know these guys? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's my cousin. Yeah. yeah. My other cousin. Yeah, yeah. We're not on speaking terms. Okay, now we're about to enter our favorite part of this store, the relic room. This is like peering into Indiana Jones' basement. It's all dated and it's all for sale. This is so cool. I can't even make a joke. That's just how cool this stuff is. I just wanted to show this. <laughs> Steampunk. Baseballs. Oh yeah, we can have a luau and have everyone eat out of these. Absolutely. Because that's sanitary. Oh, it's completely sanitary. It's thousands of years old. It's stood the test of time. Here you have your paleo knives for uh, your paleo diets. If you're doing a paleo diet, I think you have to use one of those knives or else you are simply not living up to it. Yeah. Paleo diet, diet with cake. <laughs> yeah, unless you're actually using a paleo knife, your this paleo diet just does not do it. I was just thinking that this room right here is Imagineer Joe Rody's wet dream. Can you imagine the uh, the be earrings one coming in here and buying some of this stuff up for Animal Kingdom? I think you just turn it all into one giant earring. <laughs> you just go like, oh cool, more stuff to hang on my ridiculous looking earlobe. Oh, we're just kidding. We love you, Joe Rody. You know what? In my opinion, the relic room really gets a leg up on the rest of the store. Yeah. I think I want a divorce. So, we're not in Disney World, but they have their own version of the Country Bear Jamboree. How cool is that? 
<laughs> hey, think they got their own version of Space Mountain? <laughs> Well, Abby, so you know what I think. Hmm. This place is really a cut above the rest. Yuck, 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 yuck. Hmm. Oh, you love me. Here we are. This is their own version of Adventureland. So basically, this is kind of like the Magic Kingdom if it was only Frontierland and Adventureland. I stand corrected. They also include Fantasyland. Hey, uh, Abby, question for you. Yeah. When did we get to the dealer room at Dragon Con? I told you this place is big. Princess Bride pint glasses. Princess Bride pint glasses. Princess Bride pint glasses. That is absolutely ridiculous. How much are they? 20 bucks. Yeah, that's completely, completely ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. Where's, where do you pay? Abby, let me ask you something. Oh, yeah. Do you think that Senpai would notice me if I had one of those swords? Yeah, tough. Thank God you're adorable. <laughs> that's all I got going for me. It just, it just keeps going. Look at this. I mean, this is pretty cool, but at least there's no big stupid bears anywhere around here. <laughs> He's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was joking. He's not a big dumb bear. Look at this. Look at this guy! He's adorable. Assorted sea creatures. You know, like uh, finding Mino here. You know, honey, with Twin Peaks coming back tonight, I I kind of feel like you need to have that. What? My log has something to tell you. It will tell you tonight. Yes, here at the Smoky Mountain Knife Work, children can live out their fantasies of being an anime or video game hero, and adults can live out their fantasies of being a tactical badass. This guy's so badass that he uses somebody else's hand to be lopped off as a weapon to smack other people around. Well, honey, he's just exercising his Second Amendment rights. The right to bear arms. Damn. Oh, jeez. Well, that about wraps it up for the Smoky Mountain Knife Works. We, uh, we, we didn't even really get into half of what's in there. It is ridiculous. Donculus. But if you're ever in the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge, Sevierville, Smoky Mountain area, highly recommend it. Even if you're not into this hunting and fishing and uh, sort of outdoor lifestyle and Second Amendment kind of enthusiasm stuff, it is just a cool store. Check it out. You know, it, we love coming to Gatlin, we love coming to Pigeon Forge, but for all the tacky, silly, cheesy, hillbilly-themed, moonshine-fueled shenanigans. And carved wood. And car lots of carved wood. At the end of the day, this is what brought people to this part of the country. I could just sit here on this scenic overlook for hours, you know? For days. For days. For days. Yes. Until we come back. Until we come back. Everyone else have fun out there, wherever your adventures may take you. Safe travels, and we will see you next time in Tiki Land. We're the bears who sing for Duke, Doodah, Doodah. Drink and moonshine till we puke. Oh, da-do-da. Da. <laughs> yeah.